Right, this is going to be a real quick tutorial on fixing a dead key or a few dead keys on the Yamaha PSR275. There's a couple of other YouTube tutorials on how to fix dead keys, but um, none for this exact one. And I had to figure it out myself, and it was a bit different to the other tutorials, so I thought I'd make a little, a little video to share with everyone to make life easier for people going through the same thing. Um, so as you can see, or here, a couple of dead keys down this end. This one's sort of dying, but this one's dead. Um, so first thing you want to do, unplug it, flip it upside down. I'm doing this while holding a GoPro, so bear with me on that. Turn it upside down, undo all the screws, which I've already done. And then there's a couple under here, which actually, under the battery, Thing, which I actually forgot about and almost broke it so don't forget about them and then after you do that she should just come straight off I recommend unplugging the battery lid just by pulling this out easy and that just gives you a little bit of play you've got to move it around you're not dragging that thing with you right so what the contacts are on this orange bit here and what you basically want to do is take this off and give it a little clean if you're fixing the left hand side of your keyboard um, and obviously that's this side, it's right because it's upside down. You want to take this off, which is going to be in the way of this. And to do that, there's just two, one screw there, one screw there. That easily comes off. Don't worry about taking any of these wires out. They're all fine as they are. They don't really get in the way. Um, I'm just going to be taking this side off because that's where my dead keys are. So I'm not going to show you that. But if you are taking this side off, remember, take this off, screw it back on after. Um, and it's really simple to take this off. So we've got these little... Um, whatever they're called, little button things. So you want to do is you want to push in them. That's what's holding it on. I'm doing this one-handed, but once you push them off, there's a couple, couple under there. There we go. Once them off, that just quite simply pops off like so. And these are your contacts, which you want to clean. Uh, I have got. Some actual contact cleaner, would you believe it? Um, but I'm sure other stuff you find in your garage will work, WD-40, um, maybe uh, White Spirit, I don't know really, whatever you can find that might do the job. I'm going, I'm going to give it a proper clean because this keyboard's pretty old and I'm hoping this is going to work. Yeah, basically, just give this a clean. See, there's quite a lot of dirt come off on that. Right, so once you clean that, you need to put it back on. One thing I would advise is lifting it off the floor slightly because sometimes when it's on the floor it pushes on the keys which pushes this rubber bit out, as you can see. Um, so what I'm doing is just making sure that this rubber thing is nice and flush back in there the way it should be. Right, and then when you put this back on, it only goes in one way first. So you see these black little nodules here. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and they're all along. You want to slide this under these first. So slide them under there like that. And then what you do is they should just simply click back in like that. Click it all the way along. Yep. That's all good. Double check. You don't want to be taking it apart again. Sweet. Right, that looks like it's uh, it's in there. Don't forget to put, if you're taking this battery thing out, plug it back in. It goes this way around. There you go. And then plunk that back on. Right, so I'm going to plug it back in. There we go. Fingers crossed. Oh. Oh, volume's on minimum. That could have been very embarrassing. And we have done it. Easy peasy. Right, sweet. Enjoy.